The purpose of this video is not to scare you. It's not to freak you out. Rather, it's, I'm trying to inform you. I'm trying to tell you that, hey, these harder SAT questions are coming on your way. You want to be prepared for it. What's going on, guys? Today, we're going to talk about the SAT's future, specifically the math section. It's going to be different. It's going to be more difficult. So a couple of days ago, we were talking about the October 2020 exam. Now that the QAS is released, we can kind of get an idea of what the exam was like. And some of you might have taken the exam or just heard that the exam itself was harder than usual. And it turns out the exam was actually harder than the past exams. It's like the SAT is evolving. The questions that were used to be easy and somewhat difficult, like it's getting harder and harder and harder as the time goes by. So if you're a senior and you're about to be done with the SAT, you are lucky. But for the future generations who are going to be sophomores, juniors, and seniors next year, they're going to have to take the harder version of the SAT. And my prediction is that it's going to be harder and harder every single year for you to get 700 plus, 750 plus, or even a perfect score of 800. But that doesn't mean it's going to be impossible for you to get your target score. It might be harder to get 750 plus or 700 plus or even 800, but it's not going to be impossible. It's going to be harder, but there is actually a way around it. And that's exactly what we're going to go over in today's video. First, I'm going to show you what I mean by these questions are getting harder because you have to understand what I mean by these questions are getting harder so you can prepare for them. And then I'm going to show you how you can get around this increasing difficulty so that you can get your target score. So sit back, relax, watch the video till the end, and you are going to be ahead of 99% of the remaining students. So let's get started. So what do I mean by these SAT questions are getting harder? What does that actually look like when the question is actually getting harder, right? Let me show you an example. Let's first talk about exponent questions on the math section. Not too long ago, we only had two different types of questions. There were the easy questions and there were the hard questions. It was like a difficulty one and that was like a difficulty five. SAT has a difficulty ranging from one through five and five being the hardest. And the only difference between difficulty one and five is that it required more steps. Like the college board twisted the questions a little bit more so that it requires extra unwinding for you to get to the answer. So for like difficulty one, you don't have to do any math. You can just look at the answer. You don't have to do any unwinding. You know exactly what the answer is. But for like the hard questions, you can't just look at the question and find out what the answer is. It's twisted up. That's why you have to unwind it, do some math and get yourself to the answer. So the easy questions were twisted like once or twice, but the hard questions were twisted like four, five, six times. So if you kind of know what you're doing, you can get the easy questions right. And if you're a little bit lucky, then you can get the hard questions right as well. But something interesting has happened on the past October 2020 exam. Long story short, there was like a difficulty six question. There was like a difficulty seven question when in the past, difficulty five was like the hardest question out there. This question was twisted up like eight, nine, 10, 11 times. And what I mean by that is if you know kind of know what you're doing, there's no way you're going to get the answer. I mean. If you guess and guess correctly, you will get that answer, but you're not going to be able to solve it. In order for you to solve this question, you really have to know what you're doing. It kind of shocked me a little bit because this question was harder than what was shown on the past eight years worth of exams. And I have seen every single SAT and PSAT exams out there. And I can tell you this question and this exam was harder than the past exams. The purpose of this video is not to scare you. It's not to freak you out. Rather, it's, I'm trying to inform you. I'm trying to tell you that, hey, these harder SAT questions are coming on your way. You want to be prepared for it. And you might be asking, how can I be prepared for it? Because if SAT is getting harder, that means my score is going lower, but I need a higher score to go to whatever college I need to. Well, the solution is actually really simple. You just have to really know what you're doing. And what I mean by that is kind of knowing what you're doing is not just going to cut it. If not, you're only going to get the easy questions right and get these rest of these hard questions wrong. And how can you know exactly what you're doing? Well, you need to master these concepts. And what do I mean by that? Well, SAT builds questions off of the concepts. See, there's going to be concepts about triangles, circles, geometry, and exponents, right? And for example, from the exponent concept to test whether you know this concept or not, SAT is going to create questions based off of this concept. There will be the question one, question two, question three, based off of the exponent concept. The only way to solve every single one of these questions is by mastering this concept right here. So for example, you see these three questions right there. All of those questions are based off of the concept of exponents and more specifically fractional exponents. If you kind of understand fractional exponents, you might be able to solve the first one and get lucky and solve the second one. But there's no way you're going to solve the third one when you're shaky on the concept like that. But if you have mastered the concept, 
You're not gonna be able to solve this question in like two seconds, but you can still solve it within a matter of like 10, 15 seconds. And that's completely normal. So long story short, in order for you to be fully prepared for these future SATs where it's going to get harder and harder and harder, you have to focus on the concepts. You have to focus on the fundamentals that would just would never change. These fundamentals, when you have them, you can solve any kind of question. When you fully understand the concept, then no matter what kind of question SAT throws at you, no matter how hard the questions get, you will be able to solve them every single time. And that's the reason why my program, SAT Math Accelerator, is fully built on the concepts. It's focused on teaching you the concept so you understand the concept and no matter how hard the SAT questions get, you're like future proof. I have a strong fundamental. I have a good understanding on the concept. So no matter what SAT throws at me, I know how to solve it. It might take me a second to solve it, but I can still solve it. And that's exactly where you want to get to. You want to be able to solve every single question. And that's honestly how you get your target score. If you know how to solve every single question correctly, you're going to get your target score either way. So I'm going to end this video with one sentence. SAT is going to get harder, but you can prepare for that by mastering the concepts. Then, no matter how difficult the questions get, you're going to know how to solve every single one of them and get your target score. So focus on the concepts. I'll see you guys on the next one.